1. Which vessel carries oxygenated blood from the lungs to the left atrium? A. Pulmonary artery. B. Pulmonary vein. C. Aorta. D. Superior vena cava. 2. The sinoatrial SA node is located in which part of the heart? A. Left atrium. B. Right ventricle. C. Right atrium. D. Left ventricle. 3. What is the primary function of the mitral valve? A. Prevent backflow into the right atrium. B. Regulate blood flow between the left atrium and left ventricle. C. Prevent backflow into the pulmonary artery. D. Facilitate coronary perfusion. 4. Which phase of the cardiac cycle corresponds to ventricular contraction? A. Diastole. B. Systole. C. Repolarization. D. Isovolumetric relaxation. 5. The QRS complex on an ECG represents atrial depolarization. B. Ventricular depolarization. C. Ventricular repolarization. D. Atrial repolarization. 6. Which diagnostic tool provides real time images of the heart using ultrasound? A. Angiogram. B. Echocardiogram. C. Electrocardiogram. D. Holter monitor. 7. Which test is most appropriate for evaluating coronary artery perfusion under stress? A. Tilt table test. B. Holter monitoring. C. Nuclear stress test. D. Chest x ray. 8. During cardiac catheterization, the catheter is most commonly inserted via a brachial artery. B. Jugular vein. C. Femoral artery. D. Carotid artery. 9. What does fractional flow reserve FFR assess in interventional cardiology? A. Valve integrity. B. Myocardial perfusion. C. Functional significance of coronary artery stenosis. D. Pulmonary artery pressure. 10. In a Doppler study, the presence of turbulent flow is usually associated with a laminar flow. B. Increased resistance. C. Vessel rupture. D. Decreased velocity. 11. What frequency range is typically used for adult transthoracic echocardiography? A. 1 to 3 MHz. B. 5 to 10 MHz. C. 20 to 30 MHz. D. 50 to 70 MHz. 12. In fluoroscopy, minimizing radiation exposure is governed by the principle of linear dose. B. Alera as low as reasonably achievable. C. Isochronal timing. D. Radiologic decay. 13. Which imaging technique is preferred to assess deep venous thrombosis DVT? A. MRI. B. CT angiography. C. Duplex ultrasound. D. Chest radiograph. 14. Which artifact is commonly encountered in vascular ultrasound due to high-velocity jets? A. Reverberation. B. Acoustic shadowing. C. Aliasing. D. Side-lobe artifact. 15. What is the purpose of using contrast in echocardiography? A. Increase spatial resolution. B. Visualize pericardial effusion. C. Enhance endocardial border definition. D. Monitor EKG during echo. 16. What is the primary effect of administering nitroglycerin? A. 
vasoconstriction. B. Negative inotropy. C. Coronary vasodilation. D. Increased blood viscosity. 17. Which of the following drugs is a loop diuretic commonly used in heart failure? A. Metaprolol. B. Lisinopril. C. Furosemide. D. Digoxin. 18. What is the normal range of central venous pressure CVP? A. 0 to 2 millimeters of mercury. B. 4 to 12 millimeters of mercury. C. 20 to 30 millimeters of mercury. D. 15 to 25 millimeters of mercury. 19. An increase in afterload results in A. Decreased stroke volume. B. Increased heart rate. C. Increased end diastolic volume. D. Enhanced contractility. 20. Which enotropic agent is frequently used to support cardiac output and shock? A. Atropine. B. Dopamine. C. Lidocaine. D. Amiodarone. 21. The most common site for peripheral arterial disease pad is a popliteal artery. B. Superficial femoral artery. C. Brachial artery. D. Radial artery. 22. Which test is used to diagnose thoracic outlet syndrome? A. Ankle brachial index. B. Allen test. C. Adson's maneuver. D. Trendelenburg test. 23. A peak systolic velocity PSV greater than 400 cm S in a carotid Doppler suggests less than 50% stenosis. B. Moderate stenosis. C. Severe stenosis greater than 70% D. Total occlusion. 24. Which artery supplies the lateral wall of the left ventricle? A. RCA. B. LAD. C. Circumflex. D. Posterior descending artery. 25. An ABI ankle brachial index less than 0.90 is indicative of normal perfusion. B. Mild to moderate pad. C. Severe venous reflux. D. Deep vein thrombosis. Cardiovascular Credentialing International Incorporated. The Cardiovascular Credentialing International CCI test refers to a suite of professional certification exams administered by Cardiovascular Credentialing International Incorporated, a nonprofit organization dedicated to credentialing professionals in the cardiovascular field. CCI offers certifications such as RCIS, RCS, RVS, RPHS, and ACS, each tailored to specific roles like invasive specialists, cardiac sonographers, and vascular technologists. These exams assess the clinical knowledge, technical skills, and ethical standards required for safe and effective cardiovascular care. Successfully earning a CCI credential demonstrates a commitment to excellence and enhances career opportunities in hospitals, diagnostic centers, and cardiology practices nationwide. Here are the top five beneficial uses of the sample exam. 1. Professional validation. CCI certification validates a cardiovascular technologist's skills, education, and competency, ensuring they meet national standards of practice and patient care. 2. Career advancement. Many employers require or prefer CCI certification, making it a key asset for job placement, promotions, and access to specialized roles within cardiovascular care. 3. Increased earning potential. Certified professionals typically command higher salaries due to their verified expertise, reliability, and commitment to clinical excellence. 4. Enhanced clinical confidence. Certification deepens knowledge in cardiac and vascular procedures, enabling professionals to make more informed, accurate decisions. 
5. Greater professional recognition, holding a CCI credential boosts credibility among peers, patients, and employers, establishing the individual as a dedicated and proficient healthcare provider.